worry it out. At 5 31 p.m., February 13, 2023. Uh, okay, I'll take roll. Ed Briggs. Here. Peter Gaffer. Present. Stephen Green. No, absent. Lori Gannell. Here. Ben Lepley. Here. Doug Taylor. Present. Ted Schriever. Here. Frank Davis. Here. Staff liaison. I'm here. Okay, great. <laughs> okay. right. Um, at this time, I will uh, make a call to the public. Uh, residents of the city of Bisbee may speak uh, and, and either something not on the agenda or also about this item one, which is 134 Tombstone Canyon. At this time, and I do have a sign up sheet. So, first person, and the uh, comments are limited to three minutes a person. So, Josie Oldfield. Just let me know when my time begins. The stream introduction is included or not. Yes. Hello, thank you for being here this evening. I'm Josie Oldfield, as you all know, co owner of Bisbee's Oldfield Bisbee Construction and the general contractor hired to do this project. I am here to address the board on the matter of 134 Stone Canyon, but first I would like to read an excerpt from the Bisbee Historical Designation Guidelines. There are some folks, oh, this is the beginning of the book. There are some folks who would not want any change to occur at all of the look and feel of this old city. On the other hand, there are those people who believe that modern progress at any cost is more desirable than protecting a bunch of old buildings. Both extremes are to be avoided. Indeed, it is possible to achieve harmony among differing viewpoints and opposing ideas can live side by side. What is required is thoughtful integration of old ideas with the needs of the present generation. End quote. The needs of the present generation is what we are here to consider. As a licensed contractor, our utmost priority is always safety and building code. And while I understand the design and review board's priority is preservation, I would argue that not no one could be more passionate about the preservation of this historical district than someone who has devoted his life to the restoration and rebuilding of it. Our families have lived and worked here for generations. We have seen old and new and been a part of many prominent reclamation of countless structures. Here in Old Bisbee, we understand the procedures and process very well. We have stood in front of numerous fluctuating members of this board. What stays the same is our collective intention to safely and thoughtfully reconstruct to the integrity of our historical district, making room for new life, new ideas, and building onto old roads, homes, and businesses alike. The purview of the board has expanded throughout the years, but the fact is the scope of the DRB does not go beyond the design elements. It is the city inspector's job to enforce and oversee the construction itself. At this point, I would like to address the discrepancy between the engineering and demo plans of which the building inspector and ourselves overlooked. In the engineering plans, two and a half of the three existing walls call for new framing. While in progress of the demolition, it was determined there was no foundation, significant rot, and the lack while standing all but crumbled for lack of any structural support. At that time, we should have been informed the building inspector of the current condition and requested an amendment to the permit. For that, I apologize. The intention and the engineering plans and the end result have all been the same, that we rebuild and restore 134 Tombstone Canyon to its highest possible standard, not only historically, but structurally. Thank you very much. Thank you, Gracie. Okay. Um, Shawnee Hicks. Okay. Hello. Hello. Um, All right. Um, I'm here to speak in support of Luke Oldfield and the approach he's taking to re revitalize 134 Tombstone. I have watched as many in this community have reacted neg negatively to the demolition of the addition to the old schoolhouse, or as many of you know, it is the uh, chocolate factory. As a carpenter and friend of Luke's, I believe I can sh shed some insight as to his intentions and the validity of the choices he made. We had conversations about the project during the planning stages and as he began the work. 
First off, I want to point out that Luke has been rebuilding and saving Bisbee architecture since, since he was a child. The Bisbee native, native has arguably worked on more properties than any person living uh, in Bisbee. Uh, without his skills and work ethic, this town would be noticeably worse yet. He is proud of his craftsmanship and has always, always strives to improve. Uh, he's the person I go to to find a source for milling replica teardrop clavers because he has done it before. He is who I go to for salvage lumber because he has a barn full of denailed, stacked, and sorted boards taken from hundreds of jobs over almost 40 years. Um, the idea that Luke doesn't understand and respect old Bisbee historical buildings is patently false. The people that have decided to make a villain out of him over this project should think about who will do the work to save our houses going forward. Anyone who has tried to hire a contractor in this town knows the shortage of available quality builders. I know that Luke's intention is to rebuild 134 Tombstone accurately to the plans approved by the DRB. What will drive him to do the job correctly is personal pride. Just take a look at the refresh he did to the house next door uh, to 134 that Mr. Massey lives in. Uh, Luke just finished tearing off the porch and roof and rebuilding it to, in a very historically respectful manner. As to why the front wall of the addition had to be demolished rather than preserved, the answer is that the engineering plans called for it to be rebuilt along with the other two walls and roof that the DRB was fully aware would be demoed. The plans also called for the front wall to be extended uh, up 18 inches so that the front door uh, could be brought up to code height. When he removed the roof and, and the other two walls, the front wall basically disintegrated because it was rotted out from the, the dirt below and was only being held up by the roof. Walls should hold up roofs, not the other way around. In closing, please respect the experience and intention of the people trying to save and extend the usable life of this building for another hundred years. Please let the process play out. I'm sure you'll be pleasantly surprised by the completed project. Thank you, Sean. Okay, we also have... Um, I apologize, my dad's my name, Sheila Breederman. Okay, come on up. Yes, I, oh, you, oh you're, yes. you're okay? Okay, Thank okay, you. I couldn't read it, yeah. Um, does anybody else want to speak this time for or against the project? Okay. Um, then I will close the public comment and I will um, open the board discussion mm -hmm. of this item. Um, can I say something first? Before we open the time, guys, as part of opening the discussion. Okay. So I'm, I'm looking through our packet, and I notice here that the original permit was for the roof, right? And that that uh, was after our September 7 meeting. Uh, and we approved a removal of the roof and then, you know, raising it in that one part, right? Uh, then I also noticed that there is another permit in here that is for demolition. It, it isn't signed, but uh, I've never seen it before. It was issued on January 31st, so just recently, less than two weeks ago. Go ahead, Joe. The reason, the reason why that um, I required them to get the demolition permit was because when, when people are demolishing anymore in the old city and we're building, such as um, we've had a number of those, that you guys have asked that there be a, demol a demolition permit. Yeah. And I was being respectful of your um, request. And it was, I was, the intent was only for the roof. Okay. Okay. Because I had not seen this. I, I just, I did just see it. Um, and, and looking at it, it, you know, you read what Mr. Massey wrote on the third page. It says proposed project demolition, square feet 800, height 17 and a half. So, feet. So that is in here. I just want to call that to the board's attention. Thanks. Any comments on that? I'd like to ask, I'd like to ask Joe a question. If I need. Um, the, uh, you put a stop work order on, on the project. Is there, a, it sounds like they thought they had a three wall tear down. I wasn't sitting on the board at that time, but. Um, is that, I mean, in a stop work order we've gone through it. If, unless, I don't know, maybe, maybe I can let you do this. It was my understanding that the, the demolition was that the walls were not to be demolished. 
and they were, and I was asked to put that that work order on by, by members of the board, rightly so, I think. And um, that was why I put it on. And what, was, what we have in our zoning code in um, 3.5.2, I think it is, B or E, it's E. And it doesn't give me any um, wiggle room on that. It says that yeah. I shall do it. And it, all, it, um, it says other things too. Thank you. I, I just want to read. I, I I would like to say that I I I really hope that this can be is not not contentious, uh, because what we're doing as a board is we're trying to uphold the, you know, the requirements of the, of our guidelines, right? So our guidelines state, and just so that everyone can see it, um. The building inspector shall ensure that all matters approved by the design review board are undertaken and completed according to the approval of the design review board. It also says any exterior changes requiring a building permit or not must have approval of the design review board prior to the commencement of work. When any project has been started without design review board approval, the design review board should request that the building official issue a stop work order which shall be in effect until approval is granted by the design review board. Just so that everyone here um, and the parties concerned understand the process that we were following, um, we did not expect to see half of that building gone, right? And so when we started getting calls and messages about it, um, we asked Mr. Ward to investigate and he concluded that it had indeed gone beyond the scope work. That's why we're here. So we're also here to try to come to some sort of uh, resolution and decision on this matter. Sorry. Yes. Could you give for me yes. just, just a refresh what was decided? Yes. I kind of got what Joe said. I mean, I think it was one of my first meetings. Yeah. Uh, yeah I, I think both of us. We're not, not there. We're not even <laughs> on that. Meeting. We did. We didn't see it. I have it right here. So okay. we didn't even uh, vote on that. Okay, um, I wasn't sure, but I would like a refresh as to what was decided yes. at the end of that meeting. Okay, Mr. Green moved to approve application 22-58 with the provision that there will be some visual delineation in the roof line. So the description of work to be done, changing the roof's ridge line and re-roof, adding approximately 100 square feet to footprint, and that was on the west side of that front part of the building. Right, mm -hmm. um, the part, the part, the south side of the building to the back. So that to the back, to the back. back. Okay, uh, roof slate with copper gutters, all exterior match existing. And then if you look at, if you look through the, what I kind of remember too is that we didn't want it. the roof lines to meet. Right. We wanted them to be slightly right. different. Yeah, that was that one of my the great red line was approved. Yeah, plan. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, okay, yeah. Right. Didn't have to be. Delineation. Okay, we're not too Okay, this is just for discussion, so if we can have a public, uh, that's okay. Okay. Yeah. So I, I was here. I do remember. You were. Okay. So if I can, um, I see this as a, I don't know if this, yeah, anyway. Um, I see this as a, oh, it's all about the process. I understand, I get, that people are looking for someone to blame. I've heard many names of people this week to blame. Um, there's, I don't think there's anyone to blame. I mean, there's, if you look at the house next door, we know you have the best intention for the final product. There are differing opinions on that. Um, I tend to be one that the materials that if we're existing should be the materials that you end up with. Sometimes that can't happen. There is a process and you can bring the, the building inspector into it. I did several years of building inspection myself. And I know that sometimes people bring in, sometimes they don't. The ones that don't end up getting in a bit of trouble. I, I know that you got up and said, and I, maybe I shouldn't address you, but there were people supporting the contractor, but the contractor isn't the one that brought in the application and isn't the one that had the stop work order. I don't think anybody can blame the contractor. I, I'm not trying to blame anyone, but no one can blame the contractor. 
it, it uh, we can really this should really address the owner because he was on both forms and it's a process and we we want to see it well we want, i would like to have seen it you know continue to be what it is but i understand you know stuff happening um when no, no, I'm, I also understand it, the thing to do, I think, when you find the rot and the untenable condition of the building and it needs to come down, you get the building inspector to look at it and then tell us. And then we can, you know, because there can be an administrative approval of something and it can be passed on to us and then we know. And then if we don't know, then we have to go through this process and we all end up here. Right, so. Yes. What can can he speak? Yeah. He, can. It, he can speak. I mean, this is discussion on this. Uh, yeah, Mr. Oldfield, would you like to speak? So the back wall. Uh, come, come to yeah. the microphone, please. Thank you. The wall on the south had to go because that's where the addition is going. The wall on the east side is below grade, no foundation, totally gone, and it's getting added onto as well because the footprint's getting bigger. So it just didn't make any sense to me to, I mean, and then, and then the engineering plans called for new framed walls right there. So I didn't look so much at the general plan as I did the, the new building plans. And it said new studs, new everything, and, and, and the curb to get the water, keep the water from coming out. So that's why I tore down those walls. And then the front wall was just garbage and fell down. So I don't know. Right. Can I ask you? Yes, yes. Yes. Oh, you know, yeah. Um, from your estimation, obviously, some building there goes back to 1900 or somewhere around that, right? Sure. But there's obviously two buildings joined. From Actually, your, four. Four. Okay. From your estimation, because you can tell, like, if you have a trained eye, you can tell about what era it was built, whether the studs are nominal or they're. And the picture we gave you, that's in. There's a car in that it's a 1941. So I don't know when that road went in, but it's somewhere after that, the other yeah. side, or before that, that that side went in. But the, the whole thing on the original side has been redone from the inside with all, I mean, it had to be in the 2000s. So it's all new sheet rock, concrete floors with copper wire in them and stuff. Yeah. And like, that answers my question. So is both sides were, I somehow was hoping maybe the other side was. Later than the 40s, but yeah, like, I would say right around 1940. Okay. Thanks. Anybody else have questions or want to discuss? Yeah, I would just like to make a comment. I I'm try and be pragmatic about it. Clearly, there was a misunderstanding by various parties, which I don't want to go into. Um, I think, as a board member, in order to move forward, I think I would like to see some detailed plans prepared by a competent, not necessarily a licensed architect, but someone competent in, in building design. So we know if, if we're going to approve anything, we have to have something that we can look at. Um, and I would really like to approve it. I was on the panel when we, when we originally on uh, September 7th, said go ahead and change the roof line add the back, put in the new door. I think there were the three main items. Um, I believe it was clear. I don't think we misunderstood the intent of the applicant at that time. However, things change. Um, it's not unusual to find things unanticipated in the Disney home. And um, I think we'd all like to move on. I uh, I have no issue with the contractor whatsoever. I have no issue with Mr. Massey. I think there's a misunderstanding somewhere along the line. I would like to see a set of drawings so that they can replicate what was taken down and there's enough photographic information that that can be done very simply. And um, I'm sure the panel would like to see it, review it. Maybe we'll make some comments or maybe we won't. Maybe we'll say this looks great and we can move forward. Uh, Mr. Oldfield, did you want to step up? So in the drawing, the pictures I gave you guys, um, it shows that the siding that's on there is not original. And the part that it was removed, uh, the first part had different kind of siding than the teardrop siding that's on there now. So our intention was to use the teardrop siding 
on the rest of the building because it was on the deep end of it. Is that that one little front wall that had the real short wall that had that different siding on it? So our intention was to make it all look the same and uh, like it's all one building other than the delineation of the roof line. So I don't know if we can approve that here or if we have to submit drawings for it. But I, I think I think I, I can't speak for my colleagues. I would, I would like to see a set of drawings. So okay. No to me that. I would like to see a set of drawings. That way we can lay it right move forward. So we should shut down work for a month. Um, no, that's just okay. Yeah, that, that's yeah. Kind of yeah. And and um, our next our next routine meeting is a week is two weeks from this Wednesday. Um, as quickly as some drawings or details can be submitted to us, we can. The, the drawings are very vague, and it's, I have no problem. Yeah, they're not. They don't have to be done by a yeah a licensed draftsman, and I can draw them up. Right? It's, it's, I'm not looking for license, so I can draw them up. Uh, explain it very absolutely, better. Absolutely fine. Okay, and so we can get a, a look at it. the original submission was was deficient, but right. we understood. Mr. Massey explained what was going on. Right. Typically, it was not as much as we'd like to see. Right. But then none of us realized what the out. It was vague, but approved. I mean, vague, but approved. Yeah. 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 That's what we wanted. Oh, no, please. Thank you. Please forgive us. I have no problem submitting drawings, and there's plenty of time to do it. We have a lot of work to do there. So. Right. And I understand there might be other issues with the floor plan and whatever. There's a lot of issues with that. So when they put in that street, they bury the building, basically. So yeah. we dug 100 tons of material out of there already, and it's still a foot below grade. So we have to put in a stem wall all the way around to get it up above grade. Right? I think that should be shown. I think that would be. That's actually in the drawings. The stem wall? I mean, I don't see any of the big drawings here, but it shows a stem wall on all those walls. The original? Yeah. The that, original submission? Yeah. Brian, I didn't really look at the Brian Hopster, and it showed the curve all the way around in, in new frame. So. Brian Hopster? I don't think we have I've never seen that. I've never seen Brian yeah. Hopster. We didn't get Brian They are approved drawings. The, the plans. I know. Sure, sure. 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 I would like to see them. Right. So if we could sure. see those, we could probably. Okay. Yeah, because it's all in there. That's where the discrepancy is on the demo plan versus the engineering plan. Right. And it calls for new walls on all those walls. So that means we did not expect to be that clear. We never saw that. We never saw them. They were, uh, I, I believe, I wasn't at the first VR meeting. I believe Joe brought them in because I saw them out here before at the second meeting. So I'll, I'll get you a set of drawings. And okay. That would all be great. That would probably be. It doesn't show the siding, but I can add that to it. Probably. Cool. I believe Mr. Taylor would like to speak. Oh, Mr. Massey? May I? I, I if you come up to the mic, please. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Ward, do, do you not have a set of the approved drawings that would be yeah, I can and, that you could present yeah. to the board for us? The, 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 what that? They want a set of the plan. Not here. I don't have it. Okay. Well, maybe they can be provided subsequently. So can I ask you sure. questions? Yes, yes, sir. yes, please do. Yes. Um, <laughs> please. When you, I did, I wasn't at the meeting, so I'm actually asking you honestly, because that wasn't there. Sure. Um, the, but I did watch the video and you had presented actually a pretty beautiful job of Photoshopping with paper and glue, right? Cut and paste. Cut and paste, okay. old school, these elevations. Yes, did, sir. Did you do this and present this before Brian Hope? I presented it at the same time that the drawings were presented to the city, oh. and they were part of the original application. Yeah. But so now they got separated from. Now these are tough to an additional drawings. I wanted to show you first of all our intentions and the kind of quality uh, work that we're going to do. I'm talking about the ones that I handed out previously this evening. Oh, this is this. These are the, these are the, drawings, the drawings we got. got. No, that's not that. That's a real set of drawings. Well, you really made a huge difference. I, I thought that Joe might be able to provide them to you, but we certainly will instead. Okay. Okay. Thank, thank you, Mr. Massey. Thank you all. Any yeah. others? Okay. Sorry. Okay. So, I guess I didn't yes. like sorry, that. address the board. Yes. There's been a number of approvals, some of which I voted no on, that are similar to this, in which you're changing the, the height of a roof or the mass of a building. Was very, that's a very old building. And I'm sure Luke and Sonny might agree with this, but when you, when you do that, 
it's a crapshoot whether or not those walls are going to survive yeah. removing the roof. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. And that the board really needs to understand that when they approve something like that, this might happen. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the Laundry Hill house John Sky did, he took the roof off and the walls practically fell down. Uh, and so we've got another couple projects that have been approved, like on Higgins Hill or around the pool that haven't yet been built yet. So this might happen again. And that's why I always vote no on these unless it's explicit that they're demolishing it because then we get a nasty surprise because, oh, you know, all this, that, and the other thing is rotted out. And when you take that roof off, I mean, the walls just flap around and people get scared. And uh, yeah. so just a note to the board, I would have voted no on it because we're changing the, the roof line. So we appreciate that. Thank you. Um, Yes, Mr. Uh, unfortunately, that was the, exactly the same issue that happened up on T Street. I think that's when you're talking about where they wanted to take the roof off. That one, yeah. And that was a demo, complete half demo. And we have to have a permit for demo. So it's sort of the process. We also, we have to be more careful in the drawings that get submitted to us so that they tell the story. That's our, our purview and our fault. But uh, we do have to work on that. I'm thinking maybe we have, I'm I'm just gonna throw my idea out. Please. Um, this is what I'm thinking right now. Is the applicant be allowed to uh, install a roof and complete the interior work and protect the open end of the remaining portion of the building from weather and vandalism. The full stop order served 2723 shall be reinstated immediately for the portion already demolished, including citing uh mr ward cited to the magistrate i we we have to mr ward is our only line of defense and he's the enforcement person and i think we have to back him up and we have to listen to what he says and if he felt that the stop work order should be rescinded i we listen to that but uh i i would say on top of that uh mr ward would carefully monitor the uh allowed work and he and maybe the magistrate or Mr. Estes could figure out what what kind of fines or punishments there are for that. Um, and um, I think that it, I'd like to see those drawings because they, I, I thought maybe uh, a stamp set of drawings would be a, uh, in order, but if Brian Hope did the work and it tells the story that you guys want to tell, I think that that would suffice. Uh, but the, this is a, a contributing structure, which in uh, our historic district and all of the historic districts in the country means that it's essentially sacred. Um, let's see, I wrote something down about what that is. Um, the contributing building, uh, the contributing structure is one that retains a high degree of architectural integrity and was built during the period of significance for the district. I don't know why, because it was done so long ago, I don't know why when I see your 1940 uh, photo, I don't know why it was a significant structure, but that's the way it's been designated. It actually could have gotten before this happened uh, tax breaks, um, but it, it looks like that would probably not happen now. Um, and I know that you're going to do a, a good job no matter how what the outcome of this is, but I do think I'm going to rely on Joe, and if we can add to the uh, if we get, if we approve this, we should add to it that Joe will take care of that. If you believe what I'm saying falls in order with what you were doing, um, you do have a stop work order that was rescinded. I think it should come back, and it could be at you know the discretion of getting these drawings. I don't, and if you already have drawings, I think there's enough time to 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 uh, post it and all of that. In order to perhaps be on the next meeting, uh, we might be close, yeah. but real close. Yeah, it's like a week and a half, maybe a little over. Two yeah. Weeks uh, yeah. If it's on, we might be able to make it happen. So if we can get those drawings either from the uh, applicant or from Joe, but I'd also like to add that you know, Luke, 
to add to the drawings to clarify anything that is not there, as you stated earlier. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Brian's drawings plus what whatever yeah. else you think needs to be added. So we'll the the so the discrepancy in the plants is pretty right, there for sure. Then it calls for new walls. And I, so to me, I didn't, I mean, I understand the process and everything. And if there was a mistake made, probably on my part, but I mean, I don't see stopping work on this being uh, positive for anybody. We're trying to get this thing done. And it's if it calls for new walls in the plant, and that's what we're doing. I don't understand why. Well, we'd like to see those plans. No, well, we're not paper. talking about stop on the entire project. You, I was talking about. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Any, I'm making a suggestion. Um, I'm talking about the a interior stop on on just the portion that's missing. Well, the but, interior, the other one's already done. That's new. Oh, okay. So okay, and, but, and and the roof's already framed, and it's all. You know, there's not much they can go on there. So. Okay. Hmm. Well, I but the drawings are quite clear. I don't know why they're not here, but they're quite clear. They get a new stem wall, and it, I mean, it contradicts the demo plan, but it does say that in our plan. So I just of which, of which we didn't have. Uh, maybe we didn't see them. I don't understand that because they were here last night. He approved them. He charged six hundred dollars. Yeah, and yeah. so but he, so Joe Board approved the plans. And he didn't catch the discrepancy. That and that was our fault. Well, I would. No, we're not okay. We're not. Okay. Um, Maybe Joe could. Joe, if 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 you would step down, Joe can stand in the podium and give us the uh, what his impression is. Thank you, Mr. Ward. The the, the drawings that Brian said submitted, I strongly believe are going to. I strongly suspect that they're going to be um, postdated from the time of your approval. Because they weren't they weren't here when you gave your approval. Your approval was not based on this plan. And um, so therefore they're they're not really entirely relevant to what you're we're talking about your approval, not I said <laughs> presented prior. Or, oh, I I the meeting was September 7th. So we, we really we didn't have those plans. I we have these I wasn't here for that. Like, yeah, we have these drawings that are in here and the photo. Oh, that's all I so, so, can we get in on the next meeting in two weeks? Is that the issue now? We're going to try. I got to go and count the dates. I can't remember what date it is. So, I'd have to look all that up and it's make sure right. it's we're going to be March cut. First. We're going to be cutting it really close, but March I think weeks. we could make it. Two weeks from March. So, just to be clear, your proposing a stop work order until the next meeting or until the, the drawings are approved. And on the no. portion that was demolished. Right, on the portion that was demolished. So on the portion that was demolished, you're waiting until you can approve the new document. You want to step yeah. up so I can speak to us. Thank you. That'll, that way will be on the record. Okay. Just to be clear, the stop work order would be issued on the part that's already been demolished, pending your approval of the new drawings. Now, is that your approval by the DRD or his approval by the city? Well, that's why that's why I asked for his clarification because it he tells me that indeed that or tells us that indeed that was. Right, because we paid him to approve it, he approved it, and then because so you guys haven't approved it, you're saying it's very confusing. I don't know. Okay, I, I have to tell you the truth. Okay, so pending everybody's approval is what you're saying. The DRB's the DRB's approval. Okay, and your work. So your okay, okay. So the soft work order is. Valid until and pending approval of the DRB's well, we haven't approval of the new. Anything. This was just a suggestion. Okay, I just wanted to be clear yeah. what the time frame of that suggestion was. I think yeah. the quickest the, the turnaround can be would be for the next meeting. The next the meeting and and yeah. approval of those instructions. Okay, okay, thank you so much. Good. Oh, yes, okay. Mr. Budge. Thank you. If I, if I may, uh, Ashley. Since this is, I don't think this plan has to be publicly noticed since it's already been publicly noticed. 
that's where the time problem that's is. That's what I'm looking it up right yeah, now. We don't, you don't need to publicly notice accepting a new a bit of the plan. That's so if you, that's why I'm going to ask my Joe. attorney. My attorney mm -hmm. Yes. Hello, attorney. That <laughs> this would not have to be publicly noticed that you can accept this application at any time. We set that that timeline so that it can be published. So I, I, I'm thinking there's not a problem here getting it on the next, within the next, uh, on first. So yeah. that's, I just wanted to that, interject. That would be it's all about yeah. publicly noticed. That would be great. Yeah. And yeah. then there'd be another difference. Well, probably well, we the go for what I can say. Isn't there somebody here in the front of the room? If, as long as this is. That's kind of what I'm hearing. I think Mr. Estes is kind of looking it up. Yeah, if you guys could also speak into your microphones because you're yeah. you're talking to each other, and I can't hear what you're saying. But the the public notification and hearing requirements wouldn't necessarily be applicable because this is being brought back. This is an item that the DRB already looked at, already considered, already approved. There was just a a misunderstanding as to what was or wasn't approved, and you're asking for clarification from the applicant to bring back more detailed plans as to what is going to be done to the property. Yes. So how best to move forward? So that wouldn't have to be published publicized. It wouldn't have to, you know, other than the normal notice of the meeting like we have tonight, you wouldn't have to do an additional hearing or additional publication. A point of order. My question is that um, because this is all about correct process, uh, it seems like the, the process is that the DRB has to approve plans before construction plans are approved, correct? Correct. Okay, well, the by the construction plans being approved, then and then the contractor acting on those construction plans, why are they being held responsible? That's, that's the confusing problem. There. Well, that's that's what we're trying to look at. yeah, because but it really shouldn't be uh, they they were following the you know the proper the thing they, you know, they assumed that because the construction plans were approved, then then all the approvals from the DRB that would allow the construction plans to be approved were accepted. So they shouldn't be put, they, be, they should be punished. The point is about the demolition, right? But I mean, the, the but the the demolition is I mean the the, the DRB a stop order a stop order work order was rescinded. And my question is, did you rescind it, Joe? I told Luke that I was asked by a supervisor to um, take it down. So it was the city supervisor that rescinded it? Say that again. Sorry. Was it the city yeah. manager that actually asked you to rescind the stop work order? Yep. Okay. Is that is that a proper process? Yes. The attorney. Yes. Okay, so who else can rescind the work order? The city manager can. Uh, without any DRB approval. See, the DRB didn't issue or request or order the stop work notice. The DRB cannot take action without being in a public meeting. So you guys can't get together and say, we want a stop work order without having that been done in a public meeting. You have to request that be done in a public meeting. Yeah, you, we, we did not request the stop work order. Right. So the stop work order is not a stop work order that is issued by the DRB. It was a stop work order that was issued by the building inspector under his authority as a building inspector. But it was the city manager who rescinded it. The city manager is the building inspector's authority. He can direct the building inspector to rescind or not rescind. He has that authority. Huh. Okay. Mr. Oh, are you are you finished, Mr. Hicks? Yeah, but it, it, it would be nice to have that addressed. As, as 
you know, the, the, you know that especially because I, I heard uh, Joe up here say that the the demo permit was only for the roof, but clearly it wasn't because there, there's the expansion of the of the the uh, the extra hundred square feet or whatever is being added, so the, the the rear wall was definitely going to be demoed. And, I mean that's that's pretty clear, and 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 half of the west wall was going to be demoed at very least. And there's no verdict on the permit. But as if the was can you be denied with people that would be? How's that? How, how can you? Okay. Okay. So they don't. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. So this is this is the elevation we got. Very vague. Not I'm not criticizing, I'm just saying it's very vague. We need to do better. Us, maybe yes. you guys, but us. The um the bottom line on this is we have to get this fixed. How do we do that? I I'm gonna make a motion that uh, and I would like to have, um, before I make that motion, I would like to have um, Mr. Ward have the final say. We're just here to, we, we could look at a paper model and that would be enough for us. It's knowing that the ramifications of that work are going to ripple into taking down those walls. That happens. What I'd like to have is some order where if that's going to happen, like when you got to the other wall and it was crumbling, bringing in Mr. Ward, he can take a yeah. couple of pictures, he can bring it to us, and nobody's happy about it, but everybody understands the process. And that I know I keep saying process. So I want to make a motion that Mr. Ward will uh, approve the plans as, as the plans apparently um, submitted by uh, Brian Hull at his discretion for our um, design review. If it, 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 looked, it looks like the final product is going to be what was approved by the board. It looks like the materials have already left the site. There's kind of a moot point in chasing where they went. And I, what I, the motion I'm making is that Mr. Ward uh, approve. For the second time. Well, Every this is not, he did it as a construction job. Now he would be approving as a DRB job. But you're going to see that. No, we, he would, we would trust it. Basically. Yeah. Administratively, he would, he would approve it and we trust his judgment. He's, he's part of, you know, he's the warrior in front of us. So that's the hard job. Not this time, not no, yeah, it, yeah. I, I'm suggesting no other hearing, and that we approve based on Joe coming up with the decision. At, you know, at any point in time, not at a special meeting. Oh, and that that means we don't have a stop work order. That okay. would go right. That if, would go. Forward. That's my motion. I, I don't know if it was clear. Not really. It wasn't. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You have spoken. Okay. So he's, uh, Mr. It, Taylor is going to make a motion. I move that we approve the plans that we approved previously, and that the drawings that back up the decisions made for those plans be approved by. Uh, Mr. Ward. On your behalf. Admi administratively approved by Mr. Ward on our behalf. Thank you. I second the motion. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 All against say nay. Nay. Uh, do you have any abstaining? Did you say aye? Or you said aye. Oh, okay. All right. So we have uh, five ayes and one nay. The eyes have it. Uh, this application has been approved once now. That okay, application, sorry. <laughs> application 22 58. Thank you. Okay, congratulations. No, because we have one more thing to discuss. You guys don't need to worry about it. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you.
All right, let's not go to the other one. Sandy, no, it's not. Thank you. 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 This takes us to another item number two discussion on the consequences for applications that do not follow the design of the board of approval. And this is just for discussion. Well, this is a, this is a giant problem that we have. Is that we've come up against this so many times when I was uh, with the city, and now, you know, I, I see, and Joe and I have talked about several other projects in town that went too far that I want to bring to the board, uh, but we have no teeth for one thing. We, uh, they, I don't even know what we have to apply to the public. Yeah, well, they, they ignore it. Uh, I don't know, uh, you know, what we can do about that. And I, I would like to, at some point, have a meeting with Mr. Estes to see, and Mr. Ward, to see what we can do to sort of reinforce this so that it's not just um, willy nilly people carrying it down because it's easier than because even if we have a twenty five hundred dollar fine which was in the uh, the, uh, the city code uh, for some infractions twenty five hundred dollars on a let's say that's a two hundred thousand dollar building is you know that's lunch money for the crew. Well, if you want to have that kind of discussion, we can go into an executive session and I can give you some legal advice and we can also talk about some <clears throat> procedural issues with, with this application as well. I'd like to do that. Yeah, that'd be that, great. That sounds great. You know, I have some questions that shouldn't be posed. Yeah. So you can make a motion to go into executive yeah. session and then everybody here will have to leave. Okay. Um, I make a motion to go into executive session. Do I have a second? Second. Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 Okay, um, your motion who you would want to into executive session? Um, city manager or mayor or? Yeah, city manager, mayor, uh, Mr. Ward. Um, I can't try and describe my record. Yes. Yeah, right. just, just to clarify. Right. Yes, thank you. All right. This is my first exact. Joe, I'm going to stop the recording. No, I'm not. Okay. Thank you.